What do you think of New Jersey? Do you think of history? Do you think of the Revolutionary War? Do you think of George Washington, the birth of our nation? Well, you should. These clips are from Historic Rockingham, which is located in Kingston, New Jersey, which is part of Franklin Township. Rockingham is believed to be the second oldest house in the Millstone River Valley. The original house was a two-room frame house built in 1710. It was purchased in 1735 by John Berrien, who served as a Somerset County judge. He enlarged the house and acquired more land. After John Berrien passed away, his widow Margaret had the property up for sale. When, in 1783, George Washington needed a place to stay that was going to be closer to Princeton. At that time, Margaret Berrien decided that she could rent out a furnished Rockingham to George Washington and his officials. Washington stayed at Rockingham in New Jersey for about two and a half months from August to early November, 1783. And George and Martha sat for two portraits while at Rockingham. After that point, there were various owners who owned Rockingham. The house was moved 300 yards to the east. In 1935, the original site was sought out. They wanted to move the house back to its original site. However, the original site had become a quarry and the quarry did not want to sell. So that plan did not work out. And given that at that point in time, the country was in the midst of the Great Depression, which began in 1929. The property of Rockingham was deeded to the state of New Jersey. In 1957, Rockingham moved again to move it a little bit farther away from the quarry, which had expanded. They wanted to make sure that the house was not damaged by the activities of the quarry. In 2004, not that long ago, it was restored and opened to the public. In July 2001, it had its last move and it moved a little closer to the original site and onto a larger property. Historic Rockingham is on both state and national registers of historic places. Right now, uh, some things are closed given that this is 2020 and we are in the midst of a global pandemic. However, they do offer tours of the house um, typically and they do have a gift shop and restrooms available at this location. But if you're someone who really likes history, I would definitely recommend checking it out. It's one of these places that it's just really good to kind of know about, know your state, know your country, appreciate the things around you, learn something. Hope you enjoyed this. See you next time.